What up, players? It's Warbaste up in this mood. Welcome to day 16, Project Night Lords June Painting Challenge. Uh, this is June 16th, but if this is your day 16 on whatever painting project you are doing, then um, power to you, my friend. Let us get going. Let me show you what I've got. I've started on my rear objective holding squad. This is the one that has the plasma gun and the missile launcher in it. And um, uh, as you can see, I've just really done, um, I'm kind of doing assembly style, assembly line style. So um, I went through each of the 10 one by one and I did the blue armor. Just kind of messily slopping it on and not really caring because the next section is when we, I kind of clean it up. So after the blue, I do the blacks which means I do all of the bolter casings, the uh, pouches, um, anything that I feel would be chaos black, uh, tubing, and then I go on and I do the silvers. So for silvers, I do like the blades and the um, barrels, the back, the rear of the bolter gun, um, grenades, chain mail, certain spikes, spikes on the back of the, of the backpack the vents, uh, these uh, rear vents. Oh yeah, for the black, I also do the like the, the webbing, or what, what is that, the black, um, kind of like joint arm, joints in the armor. And then I do the gold, and for the gold, I, um, this is a halfway built one, but yeah, I can show it to you. Do the uh, rim edging of the armor, bolts, the uh, detailing on the guns, and I'll show you a little bit more details on the backpack. After the armor, I do the skin for the flayed skin, which is Cadian. I use Cadian flesh tone and the uh, Bugman's whatevers. And then I do uh, the skulls, and finally I do white face paint and the red eyeballs. Then I wash them in the washes. And then I do the lightning bolts, which I can show you. This is a completed guy. He's just about completed. He did the washes. He's got his lightning bolts. All of his colors are down. If anything, I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting with him. But he's pretty much done, except for his legion um, symbol, which is going to go on his shoulder pad. And his basing. I haven't colored the basing yet, but this guy's pretty much done. Also going to add some gore effects to the skulls hanging from his his backpack and his weapons but uh, this was all I was really able to get to actually this guy is not done because I didn't do the washes for the, the silver for the metal I just did the washes for the armor um, but there's that and this guy is ready for washes with the kind of mutated skull helmet the rest of these boys are in various states of incompletion and I'm gonna have to stop for today because I running out of time but as you can see when you're doing um like i'm doing when you're doing the uh assembly line style then what you tend to get is um results that are not really that great at the very beginning your results aren't going to be very good after a couple of hours because um you've only got you know one or two base coat things done but you can't really judge Judge, don't judge your progress on that. Don't look at your half-painted guys and think, oh man, I've only done the blue armor and the black bolter casing and the silver and like my guy looks like rubbish. You, know, like, you can't think like that. You gotta keep your eye on the finished product because if you take the time to actually go through each guy, sure, after a couple of hours you'll have one finished dude, but then you'll have nine more guys that are still just in their primer looking at you which is why when I was doing project dwarves you can see this near the end of the project I really got into the assembly line style because it just like as discouraging and disheartening it is as hard it is as it is to push yourself in the beginning once you get to the end um, you know after a couple of hours you do the base all the blues and the silvers and the blacks and then after a couple more hours you got the detail gold and then you, you keep going and then once you do the washes it's like all downhill and it's so amazing how how um how much how, how satisfied you are after after that but um what, what a great sense of satisfaction it is but for me this is all i'm gonna get through today uh unfortunately i've got other stuff to do now and um i'm gonna have to get out of here but 
let me, I'm gonna try to keep them in frame because I kind of want the thumbnail for this video to be this kind of like work in progress, half completed looking squad. But um, gotta say thanks to everybody for watching and hope you guys are all doing well. Hope your projects are all going well out there. I'm um, really enjoying watching all the videos and reading all the comments and the personal messages and all of that stuff. And I'm sorry if I haven't responded yet. I'm I, I really gotta try to get better on the responding. I just hardly have any time at my computer anymore. To, to do that and um, it's it's like it, it's like a total bummer but um, for those of you who are asking me questions or sending me PMs and stuff um, please don't think I haven't I, like I just open them and ignore them like I really read them and I wanna I, I want to respond to them but sometimes I read them on my phone and I can't really respond to them because the, the keypad the touchpad I, I like I don't really like it the spelling autocorrect is like really lame and um it's hard to type on my on my phone so like sometimes all I, it's all i can do to just look at a comment and then when i get home um instead of taking the time to respond to all my comments i gotta do these daily updates but um you know it it, it just it is what it is but all right that's enough enough of that let's get on going to the shout outs for all of you who are doing projects of your own joining up with me um let me take you through uh, their videos so that you can go and support their channels. Uh, the first one I'm going to um, recommend is the Hornet Lord, and he started a thing called Project Britannon from Relics by Tor Gaming. It had to be put on hold because, not of the fault of the Hornet Lord, but because rather the manufacturer of the game, unfortunately, totally underestimated how many models they would need to produce in order to fill all of the orders so he shows he shows on like day three after um, showcasing his paint and everything how um, he got this lame old letter saying that oh we're sorry we couldn't fill out all the orders blah 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 and unfortunately he had to put his project on hold and I, I think that's really unfortunate because um, it sounded really cool his his fluff the fluff of the game the background the um, I, like I really want to see the models when he comes out with them so hopefully they'll fill his order by the end of the month and then maybe he can start in July um, keep going with the painting challenge even though June would have come and gone already um, but the Hornet Lord uh, my hats off to you man so sorry to hear about Project Britannon being derailed the way it was um, I really uh, feel bad about that uh, next Gamerheads1 he's doing a Project Dark Angels on day one he starts off with an assault squad he shows off some great kit bashing with his objective markers really creative stuff you should go check him out and then he shows off a really nice Baal Predator so that is pretty cool and then last Arlepu Arlepu Clogs um, got a great fantastic green marble Necro Sphinx and um, Arlepu says that uh, the green marble is to represent the venom bite and then shows off some black knights and it's really cool so check out Arlepu's ship um, Arlepu's channel and um, go and support so those are those three and Arlepu clogs gamer heads one the hornet lord um, really cool stuff and like I said if you want to join in and get a shout out for your channel then please feel free to do that I'm more than happy to. I, I always do like three a day, so I'm pretty sure that by the time we get to you know day 20, day 21, all of you who've joined the project log will have your shoutouts done. But hey, if you know we get to June 21st and you realize that's when you can start your project log, then jump in, get on to day one. Uh, it doesn't have to be you know the first of the month. Like I keep saying, you can just jump in anytime if you realize, oh man, I've got this squad. I need to paint up in time for whatever con or I really got to paint up this part of my army then just do that jump on in and um, become a part of the painting challenge do it see if you can challenge yourself for a month to paint up and do daily updates or weekly updates or however often updates as you can make it it's really fun it's really encouraging to see what other people in the community are doing and um, I'm getting such great support out there from people who are responding to other people and um, just checking out my vids so I'm really happy that um, I think my good friend Man of War Gaming from the first time I did Project Dwarves, he jumped in with a Project uh, Ogre Kingdoms or Project Empire. But um, this time, so many people are jumping on, and it's really, it's really exciting. So thanks everybody. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, 
and or, or week depending on when you're watching this video and uh, I hope to see you in day 17 so latest players take it easy we'll see you in the next one